Hello everybody, and welcome back to Corpse Party Blood Drive. Um, right now I'm heading back to that tree where all the pagan symbols were, because... Actually, is this the hallway? No it isn't, it's on the other side of the hallway. But yeah, in that tree where we found the... the pillar, or the stone, I... Yeah, yeah, we got the stone from the pillar. There was something underneath the tree that I didn't see my first time around, but while I was editing the video, I saw it. There was something underneath the tree. I don't know if it was a bandage, or if it was a battery, or if it was something important, but either way, I want to go back and get it. Actually, I do need a bandage, so it'd be worth it. Uh, there is a ghost on this hallway, isn't there? Yeah, it's on the second floor over here. Alright. Um, I still don't know where the crowbar goes. So I, I am going to have to explore a bit off camera. Also, thank you guys for the sudden, like, surge of subscribers. I don't know how it's happened, but we've gained, like, 20 in the past two days. That's insane. So thank you guys so much for that. Oh, you know, go and open the door like that. Alright, here it is. So, yeah, yeah, there it is. I saw it. There's something in the hole. Gym key! Alright, uh, let me think here. Alright, with well, Japanese schools, the gyms are usually outside. Okay, so I looked outside and there's nothing out there except for the pillar. And then I remember that there is a metal door in this hallway somewhere. I think, yeah, it's to the left. And I think that that is the gym. The oh, there's a ghost. Is that the door? The yes, it is. All right, all right, that's probably the door. Get away from me, dick. All right, yeah, it is. So the crowbar goes in here. I I'm assuming. Damn, that's a big gym. I'm always seeing like the corner of it, but damn. Oh, this is where Marichige did his performance. What's that thing in the middle? <laughs> Have we? Yeah, what the hell is that thing? Is that the pillar? Uh, it's a giant poop. Okay. Yeah. I already said it. So the developers really sh all right. Okay. <laughs> Look at her face. This is a tad bit awkward. I never really got the whole thing about people loving ice cream. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like it, it's just, I don't see how people get addicted to it. I'm just saying. Okay. What's... <laughs> oh, man. I'll, I'll just stop talking about it. Yeah, you need, like, a ladder or something. Just go up the spiral. You're gonna break your leg or something. Alright, try it. Oh my god. Stop and just let the man carry you on his shoulders. 
I wasn't sure I liked the idea, and my expression made those misgivings alright. Yeah, you want to help your friends and shit. Why are you so... Wait. Why is this a problem? Like, I can see why you might not be okay with it in the real world, but here you need to get up there. So, just suck it up and get on a shoulder. Damn, you just straight climbed on there. <laughs> Alright, hopefully I don't fall. I can't take the situation seriously, okay? It's it's a giant <laughs> It's a giant piece of poop made out of silver. Okay, I can't take that seriously. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm... I'm a child trapped in a 16-year-old body. No, 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 don't you dare fall off. I see you on the edge there. Alright, let's get it. Okay, good job. Man, that is a long fall, actually. Huh. Yeah, I didn't... The pillar didn't look that big when we were down on the ground, but man, she's actually pretty up high. Ah. Oh, I thought that she was about to jump down. <laughs> Kichinoma looked up at me, but quickly diverted his eyes when he realized... Oh, wow. <laughs> Aiko's probably dead. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, I just repeated myself two fucking times. Aiko is probably dead from burning. Oh. She probably fell. Oh. What the fuck? Am I playing a fucking corpse party game? What is going on? Oh, I need to go down this way. Alright. Get, get out of there. Get out of there, woman. Yeah, hey, I ain't gonna make it. That's a bad end, isn't it? I. This is really disgusting. What the fuck were the developers thinking with this? Okay, I did it. Oh! What you doing there? This is the weirdest part of a corpse party game I have ever played. Like, I know in every corpse party game, well, I keep on saying corpse, in every corpse party game, there is, like, a comedic part. Um, there was one with Seiko, uh, Book of Shadows, I, basically the start of every chapter in Book of Shadows. I guess this is Blood Drive's comedic part, or attempt to be a comedic part, but honestly, it's just weird as hell. Oh, 
Then get out of there. You're right next to the door. Alright, I need to save so that I don't have to do that again. Alright, I'm going to turn up the volume <laughs> now that that's all over. Or turn up the volume. Did I say turn up or turn down? Oh. Victory, liberty, and honor. Okay, so we have three. Alright, three out of six. We're doing pretty well. Um, what's going on? Oh, we're back in the real world now. Okay, so there's Naomi, um, Kishinuma. I don't remember the other guy's name. Satoshi. Satoshi, yeah. Yeah, Satoshi. Hi. But Satoshi knows that they went to Heavenly Host because Yoshi told him. Uh, Satoshi, you gonna, you know, cough it up? Are you gonna tell her? Or do you seriously not know? And my news, okay. So he's gonna tell her. And eh, nope. Do you not remember Yoshi telling you that he was going to go to Heavenly Host? Yeah, Naomi has witnessed a ton of people die. And at the end of Blood Covered, like the killer was just dragging around the body of Seiko. So... I will complain about Naomi. Okay, so he does remember. Uh, they made a lot of progress. There it was again. What? What happened? Oh. I still think that bears resemblance to the uh, the sun in Dark Souls. Black hole sun, won't you come and wash? Sorry. Okay. And then just looking at the cause like every anime protagonist. Oh, he sees it too. I was about to say maybe people from Heavenly Host can see it, but no, apparently everybody can. No, it's not God. I don't think so. Yeah. This teacher's gonna get all y'all killed. Oh, wow. Ha ha ha!
Oh, you go, you go, random guy. Okay, y'all just being creepy now, but that one guy that said woo. Oh, he's awesome. Okay, this is where, um, uh, Magari. Yeah, this is where Magari goes, isn't it? Mio. Wow, Mio. I don't know if, um, I don't know if the developers know about this, but if they do, then they just sort of stole that name from the drink. The drink mix. What's with the music? So everybody can see it. Like everybody. Okay. So she was friends with Naho. I'm um, sorry to tell you, lady, but Naho is dead. <clears throat> yeah, and Aiko is, um, she's on fire right now. She might not be on fire anymore, but she's either very badly burned or she's dead. Don't do that. Okay, thank God. I don't want Naomi going back to Heavenly Host. Satoshi, you can go there if you want, dude. But not Naomi. Actually, no, Satoshi, you need to stay here in the real world to keep Naomi from doing, like, bad shit. So now you two stay in the real world. Oh, I think I know where this is going. Is this going to be the hot spring episode? I bet it is. They're going to decide that they packed a lot of stuff and they're going to go, uh, can't talk. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah, they're going to take all that stuff and go to the hot spring. I bet. Watch. I bet it's gonna happen. Oh, okay, so the JSDF is taking care of, well, they're not taking care of it, but they do at least know. Yeah, I wouldn't go back home if I were Naomi. I would not go back home. Yeah, you should stay with Satoshi. Yeah, like, what are we? Everybody's there. At his house. This dude's got a harem going on. Not Yuka. 
But yeah, you got the teacher rich lady and you have Naomi. You gotta work on that harem, my man. Huh. Oh. She was clearly very close to this man, cuddling. Oh, no. Her mom is, um, she's not making the best decisions. I assume that her mom is struggling with this whole thing going on with Naomi, and so she's just kind of doing whatever she wants. I'm still waiting for that hot spring. I'm waiting. Oh. And that area was different than, wait, wait to say the least. There was now a bamboo wall surrounding my home. <laughs> hot spring, let's go. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Mochito Springs. So that woman just strip turned this place into a hot spring. A statement 800 hours regarding the. Okay. Oh no. Get Yuka out of here, please. No. Get her the hell out of here. Or else I ain't playing any more of this fucking game. What the? Alright. Um, I'm waiting for the teacher. <laughs> There's another girl already soaking this rain. There's a young girl around you can say she's sporting a stylish hairdo. This is... Oh. Okay, um... <laughs> I hope that the teacher comes around to make this less fucking awkward. Nothing made any sense anymore? Yeah. The teacher's making money off your house. <laughs> she just should have turned her house into a fucking hot spring. And she's making money off it. <clears throat> yes! Yes! <laughs> Let's go! Alright, let's do this. Sulfur. Is it sulfur bad for you? I know that it smells bad. Sulfur does, doesn't it? I don't know. Maybe it's good.
Mm-hmm. Oh, don't even act like you were actually complaining. This is great. She gonna ask you to get in the hot springs too, Naomi. You know that. Herself to a moment. All right, so she was already in the springs. She don't care. It's her fucking house. She's gonna do what she wants. I'm just saying. Yuka on. Oh, I thought that was Yuka saying it. Okay. I guess that's not a problem then. As was Miss Cool. Oh no. Jesus. Okay. The English. Okay. Wait a minute, what? That girl is not fucking Yuka's age. She looks like she's about Naomi's age. You ain't gonna try to pull that on me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Miss Coupon's looking good, though. The hell are those drinks, by the way? Huh. Uh, remote uh, all right I know what thumbnail I'm using sir yeah what the hell is that drink uh why oh I think I know what it is um okay I know that it sounds weird, but actually I'm being serious. Um, I'm pretty sure that it's cow piss. Uh, now, it's C-A-L-P-I-S. I think that's how it's spelled. I don't know, but I had a couple bottles of it before um, when I was in Japanese class. Voice crack. Um, it's actually really good. Wait, yeah, it's cow piss. I think. Yes. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Ah, uh, go ahead. Go ahead, you're fine. One year free pass? You mean like a forever free pass because she's the one who built it? <laughs> oh, these voice actors are fucking amazing. Oh, uh, is Naomi gonna be in there? Are we gonna have sexy times? Dad had come home and uh Okay. We haven't actually seen his dad, have we? <clears throat> yeah, they are pretty nice.
It ain't silent. I just heard some banging. Let's go. We did it, boys. We did it. This is the part of game of the game we all waited for. Let's go. So she's thin. Oh. Yeah, she looks like. Oh, wow. Okay, I see what he means. Look at her side. You can see her ribs. Um, are you eating enough, Miss Kuan? She's probably in the hot springs too, or getting ready. Oh, alright, she's sleeping. <laughs> you gonna talk about how, like, her ribs are like that? Like, is that something normal? Okay. Don't mind if I do. Oh! He already got undressed! <laughs> okay. Was she? Okay. <laughs> Either she likes you or um she knows something that the rest of us don't know regarding Heavenly Host. I well I would assume Heavenly Host. That's a pretty good counter question. Yeah, both both would. I think there's more to it than that. Yeah. Okay, so that's how she has so much mo money. Okay, so we get free drinks. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> What about him? I'm not sure. Actually, I was wondering that because she does have that white hair. And we had just warned that she's surprisingly thin, so... Uh, I would say... Maybe in the 50s. But I don't know if this game is realistic or not, because the white hair could be natural or it could just be her normal hair. Because in anime there are people with white hair that are just naturally white hair. Yeah, exactly. Make out. <laughs> oh. Yeah. There's something about her that's really not right. Whoops. Oh. Oh, are you now? Um, you know, you should, uh, you should probably work on getting some muscle and stuff, but we could make it work if you weren't a skeleton. With what? So, she just got really close to you and said that she was in love. Alright, that's one thing hinting that she was in love with you. And y you could have said with who, or with whom. You say with... Alright, you know, let's just go with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Imagine if Naomi caught this happening. Yeah, you kind of just rejected her. Yeah. She wouldn't be doing all this stuff. But there is Naomi that, um, yeah, Naomi likes him. Ah, oh, she went away. Aww. 
yeah. I assume that has to do with her health. Maybe. What research? This is all um, a bit too weird, honestly. I, yeah, there's definitely something more to this woman. First of all, why the hell is she, like, a skeleton? Like, she is so skinny. What's this company of hers? And why the hell is she doing all this? I mean, yeah, you can love somebody all you want and, like, give them stuff, but, like, building a hot spring and getting somebody, like, bodyguards and all this, it, it's a bit much. Oh, she's smiling. I am glad that she's smiling, though. Whoopsie Daisy, what? <laughs> <laughs> New chapter? Is the chapter ending? No, no it isn't. Oh shit! <sighs> well, I think that we'll call it an episode there. Um, well, we did it boys, we made it to the hot spring part. Let's go back this way and save with the candle and then- Oh, alright, where the hell is the candle? I'll quick save. Oh, that was a great spot to quick save. And, uh, yeah. Thanks to all of you for watching. I guess next time we'll find a place to use the crowbar. And, uh, that's all I have to say. Goodbye.